Hawks. Today is Tuesday, October 7th. Guess what, Hawks? If you haven't already heard, this week is a short week. Thursday and Friday, there's no school, so plan something fun to do over your extended weekend. Hawks, if you are interested in playing men's basketball, come to the gym from 8 to 9 o'clock Tuesday night at MB Court. The address is at 6474 Patterson Road. The Fan Fiction Club meets in Miss Alvarez's classroom on Friday during lunch to share fiction or just listen to other stories. Come early to claim the couch. If you are interested in joining the debate club, talk to either Aaron Quintoro or Ashley Victoria. Debate club is, a great, is great for your college application preparing for your college interview becoming a better public speaker, and so much more. Are you a writer with something to say? If so, get on the mic. LVCP will have its first ever open mic night at Thursday, October 30th in the MPR at 4 p.m. If you're interested in performing, please email at hbell17 at lvcp.org or jamangnano17 at lvcp.org. It spells H-B-E-L-L-17 and J-M-A-N-G-N-A-N-O-17. Stop by Miss uh, Spencer's or in room 5 for more info. Attention all sophomores and upperclassmen, please email Hanaya at hsagasi16 at lvcp.org. Pictures from your freshman sophomore years for Throwback Thursday. Pics must be school appropriate. Mr. Uh, Mr. Sherman Sh is still selling at LVCP lanyards for five dollars. They're a great way to show a bit of school spirit. Stop by his room if you're interested. Hawks, there will be a pep rally on Friday the 24th. Wear your LVCP gear and bring your swag. Don't forget to support your Hawks football team at the homecoming game at Granada High School. Kickoff will be at 7.30, so be sure to be there at 7. After the rally, there will be a tailgate in the back school parking lot. Hawks Nest members get in for free. If you are not a member, you have to pay three bucks for food and come for the food and fun. Now on to some announcements. What's up, Hawks? It's Alex again. And there's more stuff that bugs me. So let's dive right in. Oh, sorry, is my music too loud? Yes, your music is too loud. I can hear it, and it's pretty outdated. Now most people are polite. They either turn off their music or they turn it way down. But some people turn their music down one notch. I can still hear your music, and I still don't like it. And now here's Javi. Hey Hawks, you know what really bugs me? Teachers write important information on the board and then they stand in front of what they wrote so you can't see anything. To raise your hand, disrupt the class, and tell them to move. But then 10 seconds later, what do you know? Your teacher's standing right in front of what she wrote. Again. <sighs> well, that was good to get off my chest. Bye Hawks. Hey Hawks, so you're in class and your teacher has something to say and she tells you to 45 your laptop. This is 45 in your laptop. This is not 45 in your laptop. And this doesn't count either. And that's this week in things that bug me. Shout out to Aiden, Cherie, and Michaela because they were the only ones who emailed us after last week's episode. If you want to be the fourth, fifth, or maybe even the sixth person to email us, email me or Chris at the emails right here. Um, thanks for watching Hawks and have a great day. Number two of our digital portfolio. If you guys didn't see the last time about how you actually create your digital portfolio, I really highly recommend you go back and check that out. So just to kind of remind you guys how you get back to Google Sites and stuff, what you can do is go to your, log into your Google stuff, click on this little like nine square thingy and then click on Sites. And right here, your digital portfolio should show up. And you were to click on that, it'll pop up just like this. All right, so here we've automatically created some pages here I see that we have a ninth grade and we have all the different classes. Notice that there's POL pages as well. We have 10th grade and all the classes. P 
PLL semester one, semester two. We'll be talking about PLLs later down the line. I'm mostly worried about changing the class names. Okay? So what we're going to do is see this little, um, this edit button right here is we're going to go to each one of these pages. And we're going to briefly edit it and change the class name. So I'm going to click on P1 class name. I'm going to go up and click edit page. I guess you could also type E if you would like to know the shortcut. Type E. And as soon as I click that, oh, I'm allowed to edit this text. Now, if you're taking biology during period one, you just change that. Click save. Now, you might freak out. This doesn't always change right away. Sometimes this takes a moment. So now I'm going to click on period two. Click edit. I'll press the E to change that. And maybe you have um, maybe world history. Type that in. And actually, this is really all you need to do for today. Just go through and double check all of your class names and make sure that they're all good. Now, if you are a transfer student, let's say you're transferring in as a 10th grade sophomore, 11th grade junior, um, you know. I would go ahead and see if you can go and maybe delete these pages or something like that. By the way, this gear right here will allow you to de delete pages. So if you ever need to delete pages that you can do, you can also create pages by going to this little piece of paper with the plus on it and uh, creating a new page. Uh, if you're one of the folks who maybe has forgotten to do a digital portfolio in the past couple years and you happen to be a sophomore or a junior or a senior, I would go back and you know try to remember what your classes were. Maybe you could delete the periods. Um, try to remember what your classes were and try to find some of those artifacts for your project. Maybe pull them from one of your old POLs and okay, go ahead and dump them um, on each one of these pages. You know, this is really to help you guys out as you get into college and help you stay organized. Sometimes as we know our Google Drive can get really, really full. But our main goal for today is just really to make sure that we can change these class names and that we're all dialed in in that way. All right, guys, happy digital portfolioing. Today in advisory, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors will be setting up their digital portfolio and having a study hall. Have a good day, Hawks. Sure.